This is the demonstration of a web page that I coded with the help of ChatGPT 3.5, demonstrating uh, our normalization and renormalization, that is to say, humanization or ergonomization procedure with regards to new SI, where we have identified uh, a deep problem with uh, the transition in 2019 uh, to uh, the new standard international metric system. So the title of the web page is Yarman Kolmietsky slash Quantum Theory of Gravity conformal physical constants and new base derived units by Ozan Yarman uh, in virtue of the help from ChatGPT 3.5 towards the laborious HTML coding in spring 2024 where the randomized uncertainty digits are specially interrelated uh, as per the Universal Meta Architecture Foundation of Tolga Yarman et al. Here is the preliminary paper that is uh, to be published soon uh, including a zip file containing spreadsheets that accompany our publication. We start with uh, the unit of speed of light where we designate a new length unit uh, that is to be per second uh, that is either uh, exactly one or just a bit below one at the 10 to the minus to, uh, to 12th level uh, so in the uh, meter kilogram second system light speed in vacuum would translate to 299 million seven hundred ninety two thousand four hundred fifty five fifty eight uh, meters per second but uh, with the, the uncertainty that is uh, in, inserted right at the beginning we see uh, the decimal uh, the, the uncertainty decimal places jiggle about so the extracted number uh, without the red color or the parenthesis is here in the third box there is a k value uh, that is uh, uh, a, a result of uh, the transition to a new si in 2019 so the k value is uh, defined uh, through uh, the modulus of two times the Planck constant times alpha over the elementary charge squared times uh, the speed of light divided by four pi times 10 to the power of minus seven uh, it is claimed that the magnetic permeability of vacuum is uh, uh, directly uh, uh, introduced as a result of the fine structure constant but it is uh, better to redefine uh, the whole thing as uh, the uh, insertion of a k value which is dimensionless and which has an uncertainty parameter uh, owing to uh, the uh, experimentally defined uh, fine structure constant so in the fifth box uh, we have the uh, Planck constant value uh, in terms of joule per hertz uh, but I have uh, inserted the last uh, three digits I have restored the last three digits as per the code data, code data 2017 adjustment uh, which uh, resulted in the uh, new SI 2019 uh, determination so uh, with the uh, uncertainty uh, part restored for both the light speed and the Planck constant, we have in the seventh box uh, a new mass unit which we will use to unify, uh, to unicitize uh, the Planck constant. This is almost uh, 10 to the power of minus 51 uh, uh, orders of uh, magnitude um, uh, below the, the uh, uh, kilogram level. So we uh, multiply it by 10 to the power of 50 and we arrive at uh, almost one kilogram, but with uh, uncertainty parts uh, de designated in red color here so uh, we call this new mass unit one nu and remember that we call the one uh, the distance unit that uh, the speed of light travels in one second one nu so th that is 300 million meters almost uh, and uh, this new mass unit is uh, uh, 10 to the power of uh, 51 uh, orders of magnitude below uh, uh, 10 kilograms so uh, for one kilogram it will be multiplied by 10 to the power of 50 uh, so we have uh, 0 0.7 uh, hectodiota nuvu or hectodiotvu uh, which is almost one kilogram the base unit period of time does not change it is one uh, exact second without any indeterminacy involved because it is derived from uh, the uh, hyperfine uh, uh, levels of excitation to the ground state of cesium 133 atoms uh, uh, involving this number of counts uh, so the unity of the Planck constant will be uh, achieved by multiplying instead of kilogram times meter squared uh, or divided by second we will be using nuvu times nulu squared over second uh, or uh, nuvu times nulu squared uh, over uh, second squared uh, hertz which is uh, jiggly, as you can see, with the indeterminacy uh, involved, uh, with the, the uncertainty parts uh, occurring at the, let's calculate, uh, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10 to the power of minus 16th level. Uh, that's where the uncertainty decimal places start to jiggle. So the new joule, according to uh, this uh, definition, because we can extract the energy content from here and redefine the unicitized Planck constant as uh, new joule per hertz, uh, we, we unicitized with uncertainty, of course, uh, with this new per hertz, we can define the new joule or new watt uh, accordingly, uh, just as uh, with the uh, uh, MKS value of the Planck constant, where we can uh, humanize it by multiplying it by 10 to the power of 33, which will give us a gigayotta nush or nut, uh, which can be uh, simplified to jot nush or jot nut, uh, which is uh, almost one joule or one watt. The extracted K parameter that hinges on alpha in new SI is here without the parenthesis. So a uh, new ohm will be determined by this formula. The K value or the K parameter times the modulus of the uh, speed of light in the uh, MKS system, the, the meter kilogram second system, times 10 to the power of minus 7 times 2 pi uh, worth of ohm, which is this number with the uncertainty pass jiggling about. The extracted number without the uncertainty is, is here in the 17th box. The 18th box is the reciprocal of that uh, 16 box value. Uh, so uh, that, that, that is in Siemens. Uh, so uh, the uh, new ohm, norm, will be about 188 ohm, and the new Siemens will be about 0 0.05, uh, so, sorry, 0 0.005 uh, Niemens or Ni. Uh, that is the uh, uh, abbreviation for it that I chose. The extracted Niemens value without the parenthesis is here in the 19th box. Uh, the 20th box involves a new farad, uh, which is called Narad or, or NR, uh, by the same formula as Niemens. And the extracted Farad value uh, in, uh, uh, sorry, the extracted Narad value in Farad is here. The new Henry or Nanri, or otherwise any, uh, is uh, acquired by the same formula as Norm. Uh, and the extracted value without the parenthesis or the red coloring is here. Uh, the mu zero uh, MKS vacuum permeability is defined uh, through the K uh, value or the K parameter uh, as usual like this. It is Henry's per meter, but uh, as much as four pi times K times 10 to the power of minus seven. Uh, but here, uh, recall that uh, because we have defined uh, the uncertainty uh, in the uh, unity of the speed of light that uh, translated to the MKS value of the speed of light in vacuum, uh, we have uh, an uncertainty in the meter. So hand is per uncertain meter. That is the uh, key issue. So without the parenthesis or the red coloring, we have the 25th box here, uh, extracted permeability value. And 26 box value will be uh, dedicated to the unity of of Nanri or Norm with overshooting uncertainty. This will be explained in a moment uh, according to this formula here. Uh, and uh, Narad or Niemann's unity will be again uh, with uncertainty, but this time undershooting uncertainty according to the formula here. This is because in order to realize uh, the unity of light speed, uh, just as we have in the first box, uh, we need to uh, utilize the uncertainty uh, manipulation in such a way as to uh, acquire through Maxwell's famous uh, formula C equals one over the square root of mu zero times epsilon zero uh, in the following manner. So this, uh, uh, that, that is to say, the speed of light is the inverse of uh, the square root of uh, the vacuum permeability, permeability times the vacuum permittivity. Uh, so uh, in order to assure that the calculation equals the first box, we need to make Nandri norm unity uh, with overshooting uncertainty according to this formula. And we have to make the Narad Niemann's unity according to this formula so that we have an undershooting uncertainty so that we realize through this formula here uh, the uh, equalization of this calculation with the first box value. So the vacuum permeability in the MKS system epsilon zero is uh, here, uh, farad per uncertain meter, but uh, with this factor involved, 10 to the power of seven divided by four pi times k pi times uh, the modulus of c squared in the MKS system. So this is the value uh, with the uncertainties uh, that is uh, visible here. Uh, and the extracted permittivity value is here without the uh, red coloring or the parenthesis. Uh, in our uh, approach, uh, we are supposed to have uh, a mu zero as two nulu, uh, nulu, so, sorry, two nanri over nulu, uh, which is 
uh, supposed to be unblocked so that we can uh, only have uh, two-ness of permeability in the designated way and half-ness of permeability in the designated way because uh, it is again unblocked under uh, the Maxwellian uh, famous uh, rule. Uh, so uh, the, the, the two-ness of permeability is 2 nanometer over nulu and the half-ness of permeativity is narrowed over 2 nulu uh, which is almost... Uh, uh, Two for mu zero and almost zero point five for epsilon zero, but with the per, uh, with the uncert uncertainties uh, in determinacy places, uh, the decimal places jiggling about as shown. So these are the extracted values without the parentheses or the red coloring. The vacuum impedance is simply by taking two norms worth of ohm, uh, and uh, the extracted value is here in the thirty eighth box. Uh, the cross check uh, shows uh, that the calculation is nearly equal to the previous box here. Uh, but uh, uh, you will notice uh, that the uncertainties cannot be made to uh, coincide uh, between these three, uh, three boxes because we have utilized uh, the unity light speed cross check in such a manner that mu zero was multiplied by epsilon zero to, z to realize the value of the first box here. So we cannot equally have a division of mu zero by epsilon zero to uh, 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 achieve. Uh, uh, one more time, um, uh, the, the the correctness of this uh, impedance of free space cross check. Uh, so vacuum impedance uncertainty can be had both ways. We can have this through the cross check here, uh, through the uh, Nandri over uh, nulu and uh, Niemann's over uh, nulu values. Uh, so uh, if I uh, so sorry Nandri over nulu and uh, for uh, epsilon, uh, we will have uh, narad over nulu. Okay, so one more time, F for the impedance of free space, we will have under the square root uh, nandri over nulu for mu zero and uh, narad over nulu for epsilon zero. Uh, and these calculations uh, show that uh, this way of uh, uh, achieving the tuness of Z0, which is uh, vacuum impedance in the 40th box, cannot be exactly equal in terms of the indeterminacy decimal places in the 42nd box. So we have next Santin and Rehecto Narad and Nanon Lu, uh, which are humanized versions of Nandri Narad and Nulu. So we have Santin and which is almost equal to 2 Henry, Hecto Narad, which is equal to almost half a, nara, half a Farad. We have Nanon Lu, which is equal to about 30 centimeters, but all having there in determinacy decimal places jiggling about. Now we have uh, a fourth quantity called Luton uh, in the reminiscence of Newton, but uh, at the 10 to the power of minus 42nd level. Uh, so we have to humanize this uh, uh, by multiplying it with uh, 10 to the power of 42. So in the 47th box, we have exiota Luton, which is Luton times 10 to the power of 42nd uh, uh, power. Uh, so that is, um, we have achieved a Luton by uh, the modulus of the Planck constant divided by the uh, speed of light uh, 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 modulus uh, in Newton. So multiplying it by 10 to the power of 42, we have two Newtons. Uh, and uh, this we can call Jotton uh, and abbreviate it as EYL or AL. Uh, so, uh, Giotton is about 2 Newtons. Uh, so, we next have uh, Lulomb as the charge quantity, which is this much Coulombs, uh, as explained in our publication. Uh, and it is uh, a Planck charge above uh, the given uh, uh, MKS value of the elementary charge in the new SI. Uh, so uh, we have ag again the Lampere uh, current quantity, which is this much amperes. Uh, these are the same values. They uh, jiggle about the same in their indeterminacy decimal places. The extracted Lulon Blamper can be uh, calculated through this formula here. Uh, so uh, the, the uncertainty decimal places are, uh, I think, uh, a little bit different sometimes. Uh, uh, 
No, I, I, sorry, I, I, I'm mistaken. The answer to the places are uh, uh, repetitive in the 49th, 50th, and 51st boxes because uh, the formula applies. So we ne next have the hectotera deca lamper, which is the humanized version of the lamper, but this is not quite there, there, there yet. So we have exa lamper, which is uh, a lamper times 10 to the power of 18, or exa lulom, which is 10 to the uh, a lamp, uh, lulom times 10 to the power of 18. Uh, so this is equal to almost two amperes or two two coulombs uh, and the extracted value is here in the 54th box we can abbreviate them as LA and LU uh, the fine structure constant calculated by Gillette Khalifa et al in 2020 is given as this number and this is the critical part uh, the cross check in the 57th box uh, according to new SI where we have uh, uh, indeterminate uh, epsilon 0 uh, times 2 times uh, a fixed uh, Planck, Planck constant value without any indeterminacy times a fixed speed of light value without any indeterminacy divided by the square root of uh, a fixed elementary charge value gives uh, a very different um, uh, number uh, where uh, the indeterminacy decimals are not the last two but the last three uh, uh, places, decimal places uh, uh, at the uh, 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 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, ninth level. So there you see that uh, there is an order, uh, magnitude order bungle, an order of magnitude blunder made by new SI, uh, where the two answer, uh, the, 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 the two fine structure, inverse uh, fine structure constant value do not match. Uh, and uh, the, the way to fix this is to restore the, element, uh, the, the uncertainty decimals to the elementary charge as shown here, because uh, the elementary charge in this natural state can be described in our approach as the square root of alpha uh, times lulomb, uh, which uh, when it uh, has its uh, when it has its uh, uncertainty decimal places restored, uh, will uh, uh, more uh, uh, easily agree. Uh, with the experimental measurements and the uh, uh, current situation with uh, solid state physics where uh, certain uh, established parameters will not be uh, required to be changed uh, so drastically uh, if uh, the 2019 uh, redefinition of new SI uh, uh, is uh, fixed according to the solution presented here. So the extracted inverse empiric alpha is here. The extracted natural elementary charge value is here. The extracted inverse alpha in new SI is here, where we have pointed out the uh, order of magnitude blunder. Uh, and the implied uh, MKS elementary charge by empiric alpha uh, can be recalculated in this way. way. So this is the uh, uh, natural elementary charge value with its uncertainty decimal places. And this way, uh, we can, uh, in the, using this formula here, we can uh, reintroduce the uh, uh, indeterminacy uh, parts uh, to the elementary charge in the following manner. And the extracted value without any red color and the parentheses are here. And uh, this uh, is the problem uh, making uh, a new SI elementary charge value which is kept exact and this is where I uh, uh, defend that many of the problems arise. So uh, new Walt uh, and new Weber will be Nolt Leber at this value 10 to the power of minus 18th value uh, which will be uh, accomplished by the formula Lampert times new ohm or Lulom times new ohm and the way to uh, humanize them will be exa Nolt or exa Leber which is uh, taking the, the uh, 10 to the power of 18th value, m making them equal to almost two volts or two Weber. Uh, so the extracted uh, exalt or exbar, we can call them, or uh, abbreviated as NO or ELP, are equal to two volts or two Weber, uh, as shown. Uh, the new Tesla, which can be called Decanesla, uh, will be Leber uh, over uh, Nanonlu squared. Uh, remember that Nanonlu is about 30 centimeters. So to... Uh, uh, appreciate uh, the value we have to uh, humanize this also so it will be deca exa nesla which is 10 to the power of uh, 18 uh, and we can uh, equate that almost to two uh, tesla or uh, instead of this cumbersome uh, abbreviation we can call it dexla as shown here so extracted dexla or uh, da ants will be about two tesla the new kelvin which will be nelvin above uh, absolute zero can be uh, approximated with the given uh, energy scale uh, required to thermally raise a material from absolute zero uh, the uh, ratio of that amount to gigadecodionush uh, given above uh, 
uh, is about uh, one. Uh, so new Kelvin can be uh, uh, very practically defined in this way. One Kelvin, uh, 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 so thermally raised from absolute zero, will be this much Nelvin. Uh, so the triple point of water in Kelvin is given as this, uh, 273.1, uh, and the rest is um, indeterminate, as shown, uh, Kelvins. Uh, so the, uh, so uh, the triple point of water in Nelvin will be given as this, uh, and the extracted value. So the Celsius equivalent is uh, for Kelvin uh, minus 273.15 Celsius. So we can invent a Celsius degree, which is uh, shown like, like this, and that the equivalent of uh, the uh, uh, absolute zero in Celsius would be minus 262.18. So there are. Uh, uh, this much uh, granules in one mole, which is the Avogadro's number. This is dimensionless and exact in new SI, so I'm not touching that. Uh, but we can touch uh, the gray and sievert values. We can uh, introduce uh, a new gray and new sievert, which we can call Glay or Sievern, uh, uh, in involving the same abbreviations. It is joule per kilogram, so we can... Uh, instead uh, achieve uh, a similar uh, scale from Jotnush over hectodiotvo, which is very nearly one gray or one sievert. The new candela, uh, which we will call landela, involves uncertainty. It is uh, 683 radiant watts per steradian per uh, this uh, nanometer uh, wavelength of uh, green light. Uh, but you see, we can uh, redefine it in our terms. We can uh, call it 1030.777 jotnat per steradian per uh, 1.852 femtonulu lambda. And uh, this value will have uncertainty. So the new lumen, uh, sorry, so the new lumen, which is numen or abbreviated as um, will be landela times steradian, which will have the same number as the previous boxes. Uh, and looks will have. Uh, you, you will remember that Lux has uh, the value lumen per meter square, which is called illuminance, uh, matter of factly defined in new SI. We can redefine a new Lux, uh, which can be called decanux or dunks, uh, as newman over nanolu squared, which is almost uh, one uh, uh, Lux. And uh, the uh, uh, way to uh, the, uh, make a shorthand for decanux is uh, to call it Dux or dux, uh, however you spell it. So uh, dux is almost one nux. And uh, if you go back a little bit, uh, new candela, uh, which is we call landela, is, a, is almost the same as candela, but with the uncertainty parts. Uh, and uh, the uh, gray, uh, gray and sievert values are approximated by glane and sievert values as shown. Uh, so uh, the, now we are uh, approaching the finality. Jansky, which is spectral flux density, is defined as 10 to the power of 26 watts per meter squared per hertz, uh, matter of factly defined in USI. We can redefine a new Jansky with uh, uh, close values. Uh, we can uh, utilize 10 to the power of 59 nuts per nanolu squared per hertz, which is about uh, three fifths of a Jansky, and we can call it Nansky. And finally, we have uh, Pascal as a pressure quantity, which was matter-of-factly uh, defined already as Newton force per square meter. We can uh, come close to that with Giotton per nanolu squared. Uh, remember that nanolu was 30 centimeters, so we have to uh, uh, have a deca before uh, our new unit. We, we will call it decanascal, or uh, to make it uh, shorter, uh, we can call it dascal. So uh, the abbreviation is Dana. Uh, the abbreviation for Nansky was Nai. The abbreviation for uh, New Lux or Dux was Danks. So the abbreviation of Deca Nascal will be Dana and it can be renamed as Dascal. So one uh, 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 Dascal is almost two Pascals as shown here. So this uh, uh, document has been uploaded to the internet and uh, I will provide the links uh, to the uh, explanation section of this YouTube video. Thank you for watching.